All right, so uh, let's talk about this deal. Uh, another uh, wholesaler reached out to me uh, with a property uh, that, again, I think is great for a first-time investor. Doesn't quite re re hit my model, but uh, again, we'll, we'll go through this and, and why I think it's great for uh, another one of my friends, and we'll sort of share the plan from there. So as always, we're going to review the deal in detail. Uh, we'll talk again about why I passed on it. I think that's often an elephant in the room, so we'll just hit that again. Uh, talk about the keys to this opportunity and then uh, what's going to happen next. So in this case, this is a, a fourplex. It's actually a rather large fourplex, as you'll see uh, in a minute. Uh, the asking price is three ninety. I think the retail value is plus or minus four fifty. I think this is similar to the last time I helped a friend where there's a about a built-in discount of roughly ten percent. Uh, this one is uh, a big fourplex. You know, usually fourplexes in Fresno are two and, and maybe three bedrooms. Uh, in this case, these here are 14 bedrooms and four bathrooms. So three, two of the units are three bedrooms and two of the units are four bedrooms. Uh, again, bedrooms are important uh, as that is often the biggest driver for rental amounts. Uh, it's actually well maintained, uh, at least appears to be from the outside. We haven't yet arranged to get inside, uh, but my history says if the owner's going to spend the time um, keeping the outside updated he's he or she is likely to do the same or similar inside but again we'll see when once we get inside uh, I, the rents appear under market I'm trying to figure out exactly by how much um, haven't uh, I've never had actually no I don't remember having a multi-unit property with four bedrooms in it I have several four bedroom properties but they are houses or maybe two houses or two properties on one lot so Want to get in there, make sure I understand what the rental amounts are and then where my friend can take them to. Um, as I said, I need to understand the details and, and make sure I have a clear picture as of today and then where my friend should take it. I do believe that each is uh, rented at least 100 under market. Uh, and then there's a possibility that it could be as much as 200. Uh, once we do this um, and we sort of get there, this, this deal is not as far along as the other one. Uh, we are going to... Uh, same deal, we're going to need to close with cash. Again, a friend of mine happens to have a pile of cash sitting there ready to work. So <clears throat> we're going to take advantage of that and um, close this um, via a wholesaler. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. And then refi afterwards. This is what it looks like in my model. Sort of, uh, again, left to right, purchase price, down payment. Uh, again, total estimate on repair costs. Closing cost. So once the, the refi is done, they're going to have uh, about 120 k in. You have the mortgage payment. I think I assumed 6% there. Uh, insurance taxes, property management, uh, and then there's a budget for monthly expenses. Uh, in this case, uh, I didn't really know where to put the rents, so I averaged at 850 uh, It's possible it's 800 <coughs> at 32 or it's actually possible it could be closer to 36 or even four grand. Uh, this is still research I need to do, so I, I picked a number in the middle. There's the monthly cash flow, yearly, and then the yield. So same deal sort of as the last one. I think this is a great deal. Was well, something I certainly would have jumped on when I started, um, given that it's a discount to retail, comes with the ability to add value, all of that. So it has all the right things. It doesn't meet what I'm trying to do today, right? I'm trying to buy problem properties, uh, pr properties that have issues that are, allow a big discount, you know, big discount being 30, 40%. <clears throat> this one here is more like 10%. So uh, it is a great deal. Anytime in a seller's market, you can get something to uh, discount to retail is, um, you know, something you shouldn't pass on in my opinion. So I think it's a great deal. Uh, again, something I would have done 15 years ago, but not something that I could buy and f you know fix and flip. Right? There's just a 10% discount when you have you know for example 5% in selling costs doesn't offer the room uh, for a guy like me to uh, to add this. However, I think it is a perfect thing for somebody with a full time job. Right? They can go in, use their cash, get the discount because they have cash, go raise rents and then refi out and likely get most if not all their cash back uh, during the refi. And lastly, I like helping people where I can. So priority number one, um, this is coming through a wholesaler. Uh, and they, as I've said in the last video, it's important to maintain this relationships. And once you commit um, and we, we signed the contract, we got to close. Uh, because, again, the wholesaler 
is working in an environment with a seller that once they get a contract done and they must close because the seller will just find a different wholesaler and, and, and go that direction. Once, they're, once they've got their mind to sell, the owner wants to sell. Uh, I think my friend, uh, after they close, needs to spend 90 days and really reassess and, and see where they want to take rents. Um, you know, that's probably going to be a 90 day process, you know, 30 days, you know, go in and figure out what's going on, do a little bit of maintenance, raise rents and, and, and see what, uh, see if anybody leaves. Uh, I think it's smart to budget turns. Um, this one's fully rented. Uh, but as you saw in my spreadsheet, I, I allocated $20,000. Again, that's just a swag. Um, that's 5,000 a unit. Um, you know, it's sort of paint carpet, you know, uh, basic cleaning. Um, and it's also possible that not everybody will move. So it's just a guess. Again, then you refi out. The question is, do you refi out in 90 days or do you wait six months? Six months seems to be uh, the target for banks, right? Um, but again, you could do it uh, in three months if you'd like. So first, I need to get the full picture on the story. I, I got sort of half of it yesterday in an email and texts. Uh, I've, I've had some questions back because, again, I won't recommend something to a friend unless I understand the full story and um, you know, really want to make sure that my friends are protected. So I need to do that for them. Then we're going to make probably make arrangements to go see it. You know, new investors often want to go see the first one. Um, I now buy properties when I don't see it, but you know, I've done 100 of these. And, and um, I, didn't, I went and saw every property I bought for the first 15 or 20, so uh, we'll likely have to do that. Um, don't know if we'll get in all uh, all units. It's just you know it's tough you know with timing on our side and their side, but we should be able to get into at least half of them to see what's going on. Also, since we're going to be up there, we'll go by and look at some other properties just to make sure it really sinks in that this is a, a good transaction uh, and a good purchase. Need that final yes answer and in in make sure the funds are available, make sure that they can close, uh, and then you know the wholesaler gets their fee. You know I maintain a relationship. My friend's happy. Wholesaler's happy. Everybody wins. So again, that's just this deal. It's it's not quite as far as long as the other one. Um, you know, we're actually going to go see that first package uh, tomorrow. Uh, I'm still gathering details and hope to have them by Friday uh, and give them to my friend to to consider over the weekend. And from there, it should be good. So um, you know, do me a favor. If you actually happen to be one of my friends watching this and you have a pile of cash, uh, and you might be interested in doing one of these wholesale transactions where you have to come in and close very quickly, and then you refi via bank later. Make sure you know I know that, uh, and make sure you let me know what kind of threshold you have, because not everybody has 400 grand. You know, some of you may just have 100 grand or 200 grand. Uh, so let me if, make sure I know that if if you're interested in any in this kind of uh, situation. All right. Um, as always, like the video, leave a comment, and share the video with friends and family. Thank you.